Thanks everyone for here. Welcome to the demo hub. In today's demo, we're gonna take a look at Light Dash. I'm very excited for the tool for today, a modern data tool that helps with BI on your modern data stack. We're gonna take a look at this, uh, do an installation of Light Dash, unpack the features and the capabilities. It integrates uh, very natively with DBT and a very fascinating tool overall. We're gonna see an end-to-end -end installation and a demo of this. Now, Light Dash, as it positions itself, is the open source version of Luca. If you're familiar with Luca, Light Dash is positioning itself to be the open source version of that, and it integrates uh, very tightly with DBT to give you that Luca or Look ML type experience, but on the DBT side of things with Snowflake. So, very fascinating. We're going to go in and do an installation of that. Now, if you go in, there is a lot of buzz around Light Dash. There's a lot of uh, articles being written about it. And the industry seems very excited about what Light Dash is capable of doing, especially given how integrated it is with DBT. On modern data stacks like Snowflake, DBT is usually the go to tool for doing the T in ELT. Now, if you do your transformations in DBT, what about that visualization side of things? What Light Dash is doing here is tapping into your DBT models and giving you uh, more visualization capabilities on top of that. If we go back to the uh, Light Dash page, you can see the team is uh, getting very highly capitalized. So meaning the industry is definitely paying attention to what the product is all about. Now let's uh, pick up from where we left in our previous uh, DBT demo, where we brought in some customers, we brought in some orders. We created a customer orders model in DBT. Now we're going to see how to put Light Dash on top of this so that you can have a good UI for reporting and analytics and slicing and dicing of the metrics from within this uh, DBT project. So let's jump right in. If you're going to install this, you can follow the instructions here. I'll leave links to all of this in the description below as always. This open source, uh, you can host it locally or you can host it, leverage the cloud version for hosting this uh, in Heroku or some other options. For us, we're going to install this uh, locally. So let's jump right in back into DBT project we did last time. So again, this is not a DBT tutorial. So I'm assuming you're coming to this with some knowledge on, of DBT and you have DBT installed. From the previous demo, we had uh, customer models. This was the orders and then the new model that essentially joins the customers and the orders and give us a customer by orders. If we go back into our Snowflake where these models are being materialized, in this case as a view, we can see the view here for the customers by orders. So let's now, go in. The first thing we're going to need uh, to get Light Dash going would be to get it installed. Light Dash uh, provide the script. Uh, check on the website. Again, links to all of this will be in the description below. Let's just clone that from uh, Git. Just run Git clone to go ahead and clone that. Now, once we have that clone, we have a Light Dash folder here, CD into that Light Dash folder. We're going to execute a script in there to install Light Dash if you're doing this for the very first time. So in there, there is a folder called scripts. And we're going to go ahead and install that. If you're leveraging Heroku, uh, let's just go back here really quick. They do have a quick install here. You can just deploy that to Heroku, but we're going to follow these steps here to install this uh, locally. Do the one for the default installations. Takes a few seconds and this should be installed for us. All right, that completed pretty quick. And we should now have Light Dash installed locally running on port 8080. So let's go back, open up port 8080. And here we do have a light dash project running, but this is uh, pretty blank at this point. Uh, let's so, go ahead and create a brand new project within light dash. So let's check where we are right now. We're sitting within the light dash folder, but we're going to want to go back to DBT uh, project. So we can go back to DBT and make sure we are in the demo hub uh, project. So let's play this and we should be at the level of the dbt uh, demo hub project and the reason for that is we need to have this dbt project the yammer file from here we're going to go ahead and do a light dash deploy and we're going to create so this will create a new light dash project for us let's give this a name 
the Mahab tutorial. So here, this is going to create a new project for us. And the Demo Hub tutorial project has been created and that should be deployed pretty quick. Now, as that project is created, it's going to read the models we have from here. And I'm going to explain this a little bit shortly. It's going to read those models and it's going to deploy that on Light Dash. This is how Light Dash and DBT work synergistically. If we copy this project, which we've created now with Light Dash, go back over and go directly to that project. Go ahead and explore the tables, making sure that we have that project selected. So we do have this here and my models from DBT. So all the models we have here show up within the light dash. This is a light dash a BI environment. Let's go back. We have our customers, we have orders and we have customers orders. Now, if I open up the customer order, uh, what you're going to see here is a bunch of dimensions. These are the uh, attributes or the columns that exist within my customer's orders. And I'll explain where this is coming from. Now, if I look at orders and then customers, we're going to see the same thing. So let's go back to tables and look at customers. I do have a dimension here. And if I go back and I look at the orders, I do have a dimension here in addition to something called a metric. If you're familiar with analytics, there are dimensions and then there are metrics or there are measures let's zero in on the customer orders with any bi tool you're going to want to see your uh, metrics along with your dimensions so how is this all coming together let's go back here within our customer orders so this is the model we had that essentially took our customers uh, data joined it to orders and is giving us uh, customer orders for this model we're creating a customer's orders, the YAML, and this is the key part for Light Dash. So within this model, we're going to tell it the version. You need this version, version two, otherwise you run into an issue. Here we're telling it the, the model we're working with, we're working with customer's order. That's the model. Give it a description and just the list of the columns you want. Whatever column we have in here, we show up here within that dimension. So pretty standard, giving it the column name add some descriptions or metadata if we want. We've done that for every column we have within that model. Go back to my customer's order model. These are the columns which we've listed in our YAML file. Go over, Light Dash is picking all of that. Okay. Now, one of the things that Light Dash will allow us to do is we can come in, let's pick a particular order here called quantity. Typically you want to roll up what people are buying by the quantity, because this is something you're going to be rolling up by. So your dimensions would typically be customers and your measures or your metrics would typically be numeric values with which you can roll by, you can aggregate, you can do count on. So here we have quantity. We can add a test to this if we want, and we can test this for say a unique values. Or we can even test this for not null. All right. So we, those are things that we can do. For Light Dash, in addition to doing tests, let's go ahead and do meta. This is where Light Dash now is coming to play. Let me bring this and zoom in so we can see this aspect now of Light Dash. And you can do this for every uh, measure or for every metric you want to calculate. So you just do meta. We're going to indicate that this is a, a metric. And here we can specify the the metric so to give it a name make that total quantity count okay well what type of metric is this this is a count distinct the syntax to all of this is available within light dash if you're familiar with Luca or look ml i'm sure some of these concepts would ring home having all of this within your dbt code means you're essentially not having bi and, and analytics or transformations separate you can create these metrics in one code, test them, and then deploy them. We have a unique, we have a node null. We've introduced this piece, and this piece is really uh, what is coming from, from Light Dash. Go ahead and save this. Now we have a new metric called total quantity count. If you wanted to do this for account balance, or we can do that again for account balance. In this case, I don't have a test, I just have a metric. So depending on where you want to inject tests or you want to in, uh, inject metrics, you can do that total account balance. We can leave it as a total account balance. And this type here is some, there are lots of types that you can check in the documentation for light dash to use, but we've used some in this case, and we've used 
count distinct in this case for two different metrics. Here, just to so recap, we do have a quantity and we have a test and a metric, which is what Light Dash is going to be looking at called quantity. We're doing a count distinct of that. Below that, we also have another metric on the account balance and we're doing a sum of that. You can add as many of these as you want, depending on where you have metrics as opposed to dimensions. Quantity, that makes sense. Revenue would be another place that would make sense. Discount, of course, those numeric type values would be where you kind of want to add your measures. Now, once that's done, I deploy this by creating a new project. Let's just call this demo of our tutorial. Takes a few seconds. A project has been created. You can copy that link. So coming back into Light Dash uh, with a new project created, uh, we see the customer orders with the metrics we've calculated uh, showing uh, here. So the dimensions, of course, the metrics is what you uh, do your summarizations by. So your group buys, your sums, you count these things all show up in here. And if there are custom metrics, you can also have that included. So let's see how we can bring this all together to do some visualization and some dashboarding uh, right here within a Light Dash. Take a look at shipment mode, which is something that you may want to see how a uh, mode of shipment affects your uh, account balance. So here we do have a shipment mode. If we run that, we should see all the shipment modes available by air, mail, rail, ship, truck. And now let's see the account balance for each shipment mode. So selecting that, run it, we can see the account balance for each shipment mode uh, showing up here on the screen. The beauty about this is there's also a chart that comes along with this. As we're doing our calculations, we have this chart. If you want to put in some filters, you can certainly add in filters by other date, typically. And now we have an option to, to select the other dates, go back as far as we want. Uh, this is something folks can come in, slice and dice, uh, see the chart if we want to add in some change the chart type into a horizontal chart, we can do that. The difference doesn't quite show here, but there is a difference. Area chart, it does show the differences. If we're happy with this, we can export this chart as a PNG. Now we have a chart, we can go in and either link this chart or we can save the chart. So give this a name, sales by shipment type, description. We're going to make this uh, a shared space. So we're going to publish this into a shared space and save that. Now we have a dashboard with the results that shows up with the query that comes with it. Each of these queries as we run is uh, directly querying uh, Snowflake DB. We can export this, make more changes, and Light Dash gives that capability. All of this is as a result of the logic which we had from within DBT model as your team is doing transformations not only are they putting in test cases for the models they're putting in these metrics where necessary now you have the view of not just your dimensions but you can slice them by these metrics with calculations you've put in and light dash becomes that visualization tool on top where you can quickly explore this data and share that with other folks that would get value out of this again if you're familiar with Luca and look ml this concept is essentially what Look ML does, and Light Dash is doing that in an open source version, tapping into the very popular DBT that almost everyone in the data engineering space knows and is talking about today. And DBT taps into Snowflake. You can see that cascading dependency, and you can have a very robust pipeline, easily maintained, easily managed with your BI and your visualization on top. Now, this becomes your source of I, I hate to use that term, but your, your source of truth for what a logic is. So what is my total quantity count? You have this documented, you have this tested, you have this version controlled, and your entire organization can simply use that. So very fascinating. This has been a quick demo of uh, setting up Light Dash, uh, which is uh, seeming to take on uh, Luca, building on top of that with our DBT application that we, we did, seeing how we can take customers' orders, calculate customer orders, We've leveraged Light Dash to add more metrics to it and uh, also having the visualization on that, uh, leveraging a Light Dash, and you can share and collaborate with this uh, within your organization. So, there you have it a quick demo of Light Dash. As always, hopefully, this was helpful to you. We find and unpack and highlight tools in the modern data space. Light Dash seems to be a very fascinating one. So, 
Uh, links to all of this will be in the description below if you want to check it out. Instructions for setting this up as well will be in the description below. But reach out if you have any questions to Demo Hub or you can directly reach out to the Light Dash team if you want to test this and get started. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Fru. I'll see you in the next demo.